Hi, welcome to my channel, 10 Years Younger. I'm 44, but I'm often mistaken as much younger. And one of the reasons is because I use microcurrent and radio frequency. So um, I've made a few videos about these topics. And one of the questions I keep getting is which should I use, microcurrent or radio frequency? So I thought I'd make a video where I can answer that question. And also I'm gonna show you how I use these machines myself. So I've got my microcurrent machine here which looks like this and the radio frequency machine which I featured on many of my videos and I'll link below uh, and the end looks like this so first the radio frequency machine is flat and it's just sending the radio um, frequency signal into your skin and the microcurrent has these two probes because you're kind of get you're, you're trying to aim to the muscle underneath so you want to get under the muscle and kind of lift the muscle up. So radio frequency only works on the skin and it tightens the skin and creates collagen and elastin. Microcurrent doesn't do anything for the skin, it works on the muscles underneath, so it kind of lifts your face. So they do two different jobs. So when you ask which one is the best or which one should I buy, it really depends. If you've got loose skin, for example, if you've uh, lost a lot of weight really fast and you have loose skin then radio frequency would be good if you have um, you know signs of aging where your muscles are kind of going south from where they were when you were younger then microcurrent might be good but don't forget you can also use both of them um, which is what I do so they, they both have a different job to address different signs of aging so I'm going to show you first of all how I use microcurrent then I'll use radio frequency so if you do want to use these together I would start with microcurrent because radio frequency can make your skin uh, red and hot and a bit sensitive so you don't really want to go over it with another treatment afterwards so I've just received this uh, conductive gel so when you're using microcurrent you need to use a gel which will allow the current to pass from the machine into your skin so this is a conductive gel which I paid about nine pounds for two I got this on Amazon I'll link this below so when you're applying the the gel to your skin just try to use a brush and the reason why is to keep your hands clean otherwise you make the machine a mess and it gets all a bit difficult and messy if you're on a budget and you want to keep the price down then you can just use aloe vera gel and put 100 uh, mils into a container and just put a really small pinch of salt and that will make the aloe vera gel conductive so that's a good way to save money but if you use retinol on your skin like I do you may find that the salt is too irritating to your skin so that's why I went and I bought this product so with the microcurrent this is the machine here so you choose the time and I'm going to put it on number six and then you press start so you can't really get it wrong with microcurrent all you do is move along your face and it should take you 10 seconds to do each movement. So I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you go up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do each movement three times. And with microcurrent, you should not be feeling anything. You shouldn't be feeling any twitching. You shouldn't see the skin or the muscles kind of reacting because that means the setting is too high. And then go up. So the thing with all these things as well, you always stay away from your thyroid, which is here. You never want to go near there. And you don't use it on your eyes. You can go around your eyes, but don't actually go too close to your eyes. So when you've gone across, then you go upwards. So you start here and you push under the muscle. And if you are gonna buy a, a, um, a microcurrent machine, you want one that has prongs on it because you can really get under the muscle. So you go under like this and you push up. For 10 seconds and you just move along. So there's no discomfort, it doesn't heat up, you don't really feel anything, so it's quite easy to do this, you can relax and do this in front of the TV. 
So you keep uh, going up. And the idea is to try to get under the muscle and lift that muscle. And you can also start under your jaw here if you want to uh, accentuate this jaw area. So go under here and just push up. And then move along. Can you see you literally start from under the jaw and you push up like this. So it's the same thing. And you can work on whichever area you need to. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So you start off going outwards. Also, if you find a diagram of the your facial anatomy showing all the muscles, then that's really what you want to work on. So there's some muscles here which kind of lift um, your face and you have to kind of work out where they are in your face. So with this, you can't really get it wrong. You're not gonna burn yourself or you know do anything wrong. So just play around with what works for you. Another thing you can do is to just go in circles like this. And that kind of guarantees that you'll be hitting um, more of the muscles underneath. So with the eyes, your eye muscles are just two circular muscles like this. So you, first of all, you want to go round like this in circles. And this, this uh, area is more sensitive, so you may want to turn the power down. And you may feel a bit of twitching here as well. And again, it's supposed to be 10 seconds for one circle, and I'm going too fast. And it's really great for this little saggy area here that I have. So I just hold it here for a few seconds. Okay, and another thing you can do is just lift your eyebrow like that. You hold that for 10 seconds. So when the gel dries out, you can't move the the probe over your skin. That's why you keep having to reapply it. because The probe kind of won't glide over your skin as well. It gets stuck. And remember, you're not actually going on the eye, you're going around it. You're not actually going over your eyeball. And you can also go in circles around your eye. Again, you have to um, find out what works for you. Then you do forehead. And with this, you go straight up. Next thing is the neck. So microcurrent is really great for fighting signs of aging on the neck. Okay, so I always start off here 
with this flappy bit of um, skin under my chin here. So you just start here and for 10 seconds you work up towards your chin like this. I normally spend a bit more time here just because this is really what I um, use microcurrent for, it's this area here. So I go around in circles as well. So if there's one area that you particularly want to target and you can spend a bit longer just working on that or if you want to just work on that and you don't have to use it anywhere else. So that's taken 15 minutes to do that. And I've got the timer here. So I wouldn't normally do both of these on the same day, but just for this video, um, it kind of makes sense. So now I'm gonna continue with the radio frequency. So when using the radio frequency, you, use, you can use normal aloe gel, you can use ultrasound gel. You don't need a specific conductive gel. So if you just have like a this is an aloe body lotion that I use. And it's really just to help the, um, the probe to pass over your skin. So you put it on, I work in quarters. If you imagine dividing your face into quarters. So the machine's on, I'm gonna put it on the top setting, number five. So all you do is you move around in circles on your skin. And the main thing is that you don't stay in the same place for too long because you'll um, burn your skin, it gets hot. So the thing with radio frequency is that as well as tightening your skin, it also kills some fat cells. So for that reason, I don't use it more than two minutes in each section of my face because I don't want to kill fat cells, I want to just tighten the skin. So I literally do two minutes here and then move on to another area. If you have a round face and you, you actually want to lose fat, then you can stay on each area for 20 minutes and that should get rid of some of the fat, but just remember as you get older, you need that fat to look healthy and have a nice plump um, complexion because we lose fat as we age. Right, so that's two minutes on this section here. You can see it's going quite red, that's normal. So now I'm gonna do around the eyes. So like, as with the microcurrent, you don't actually want to put this on your eyeball. You work around the eyes and you turn it right down. So I'm going to turn it down to number two. You can go as far as the bone, but you don't want to actually go above the eye. So. So with this, you're not following um, any diagram where the muscles are, you're just heating the skin, that's all you're doing, you're moving in circular motions and you can see when it's heated because it should go pink and it's literally two minutes on each area like I said. So 
it's quite easy, but on the other hand, because potentially if you stay in the same area too long, it will burn your skin, you can't relax. You've got to concentrate and you've got to look in the mirror while you're doing this. So you can see it, my face is becoming quite pink. And the last area I'm going to do on my face is the forehead. So again, two minutes just moving in circular pattern over your forehead. It's not rocket science, you just need to keep moving the machine. Finally, the neck. So as with microcurrent, you don't want to go near your thyroid or around your windpipe. And your neck may be more sensitive, so you may want to turn the machine down. So if you have crepey skin on your neck, radio frequency is a really good uh, solution to that because you're building elastin and collagen, which is what you need. However, most of the time, crepey skin is around here and you can't go over this area because of your thyroid. So it's good for the side, it's good for your arms as well. And you can go back as far as you want if you want to do the back of your neck. I think a lot of guys have lines on the back of their neck where they've been in the sun and this really helps with that. So if you, if you want to go right around to the back, you can do. You can use this on your body as well, don't forget. On your arms. You can use it to um, kill fat cells on your belly. It's not that effective. It, it gets rid of a bit of fat, but it's not a huge uh, difference. And I have a video on that actually you can watch. So you can see that's gone pink. And then the final, and the final part is under my chin here. Now, if you have got fat under your chin, then you can do this for 10 minutes. You can just stay in this area for 10 minutes. And you get this instant lift. I hope you can see that. And that's really the popularity of radio frequency and, and microcurrent as well, to some extent, is that you get this instant lift. Can you see how much sharper that is from before? <clears throat> it makes everything kind of snap up into place. So roughly about uh, 10 minutes for the radio frequency, 10 to 12 minutes. So literally two minutes on each section, then you stop for two weeks. With a microcurrent, you can use it every day or every other day. Um, with radio frequency, you have to leave 14 days between each session. So hopefully that has um, you know showed you how I use this. Um, like I said, the difference is radio frequency is to tighten your skin, microcurrent is to lift the muscles underneath. But like I said, you can use them together. So if you've got any questions, please put them below. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you're using radio frequency, let me know how it's going with you. And have a great day.